I'd like to start off this video by saying thank you to Uncle Creepy for giving me a Rex. You are amazing, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'd also like to say thank you to Evoix from Fablight. They gave a couple of my characters planar essence removal devices. Thank you so much. And in his message he says, Hey, sorry I couldn't get you better, but I only had about 400 credits left to spend, so I sent you this. Again, love your videos. P.S. I thought it'd be more useful to other characters, so I sent one or two to your other characters. Keep it strong. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And last but not least, thank you to Tysius from Deepwood for the Summerfest picnic basket. And in his message he says, keep making those great videos. You have helped me understand my character's abilities so much better. Keep up the good work. I uh, thank you so much, Tysius. You rock, sir. And I appreciate it. What's up, guys? It's your good friend Grim here. If you left a comment in the comment section below of my last Saturday video, which was the Inquisitor build video, then you are entered into this whatever you want giveaway. Yes, we are giving whatever you want from the Rift store, if as long as it's giftable and it's you know around the 5,000 credits or less mark, because we don't want to give away the 50,000 credit ones. And the winner of that one is BAM! right there how's that look congratulations we will be getting a hold of you just shortly to find out what you want if you are unfamiliar with how we're doing things right now we are doing 10 weeks of anything you want giveaways so this is starting week three and what we're going to do is if you leave a comment in the comment section below this very video you will be entered into the giveaway and basically we're giving away whatever you want from the rift store as long as it's giftable and not one of those extremely high items like the 50,000 credit ones so just leave a comment below with your character name and server so we know who to contact in order to give you your prize and of course you must be subscribed and be sure to hit the like button because that always helps the winner will be announced in the next saturday video Good luck guys. I had also posted a thread on the Rift forums announcing this giveaway that we just did and also the 10 weeks of giveaways. But I made it to where if you posted in the thread you would also get a spectral supply crate. And the winner of that particular giveaway is... Congratulations. I hope you enjoy your spectral supply crate. What's up guys, Grim here. Today I'm wanting to give you guys a guide on the new warfront called the Blighted Antichamber. And the basics of this warfront is that it is 15 players versus 15 players and it has three control points which are flags and then two stones that can be run from side to side in order to score points. Once one team hits a thousand points, the match is over. And as you can see by the overview of the map here, the three bases are diagonal so that one base is favorable to one side and another base is favorable to the other. And if you can see on the map here, the stones are pretty much underneath the starting bases of the opposing team so you have to run all the way to the other side to grab the stone and run it back in order to capture it and score points for your team. The whole craziness with this map is that it's a hedge maze. So the entire time that you're running out there, you're getting a little bit lost, you're running around corners, and you don't know who you're going to run into. So what that makes is that it is very favorable to melee classes since they can run around corners and line of sight any kind of range class. But no class has it better than the rogue in this particular map. Stealth is huge because it's so easy to run around a corner and run into a group of enemies that you didn't even know were going to be there because you're always lost for the most part. So rogues being able to pick their battles has always been pretty substantial but in this map it is just huge. This here is the center area which is called the spire and it's raised way above the ground level as you can see and there's basically two ways to get up here which I'm about to show you in just a moment but as you can see 
it's a center point for everybody to come to much like the codex is and the center flag here of course scores you more points much like codex as i said and the side flags will score you points as well but less than the center point as I said, there are two ways to get up to the center area. One is the spiral walkway, but since it's such a new war front, you have to be careful because it's a little bit buggy. As you can see, I get caught in a wall here where everybody just could tee off on me and there was nothing I could do. I couldn't get out of it, but hopefully this stuff like this will be fixed really shortly. The second way to get up to the center platform is by these fans that are placed all over the war front and they all launch you to the central area. You've just got to be careful because you don't know what you're going to get launched into. As I said, this war front is all about guessing. You don't know what's going to be around the corners. You're going to run into enemies everywhere you go and stealthers is, are just going to completely dominate this war front. The capturable points are all flags like most of you are used to in the Black Garden situations and all that, so it's just a matter of grabbing a flag and capturing it and holding on to it for points. Overall, it's a very fun experience because it's something new and being launched into unknown situations is always exciting, but sometimes demotivational because you never know what you're going to run into and it's hard to pick your battles and play smartly in a warfront like this. I highly suggest if you get into this warfront on the random queue, be sure to switch to a melee spec or something like that because range classes are really going to struggle in this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and hopefully it helped you out in learning this new warfront so you don't go into it blind and not knowing what to do and be rogue bait basically <laughs> as usual guys my name is grim and i will see you next time